Yo, what's up everyone, Ufa here, and today, as you guys can probably tell from the title, we have got this new event, and you guys can see it's the new bat draft challenge so the bat draft challenge is literally as the name says it's a draft challenge and if you guys get eight wins you get 50 bats and if you get 12 wins you get 500 bats obviously bats are the new cards come out in 14 days time or two weeks but we have the chance to get them early here we're gonna go into it we're gonna hopefully get 12 wins but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this challenge if you do make sure you guys leave a like it really does help the channel i would really appreciate it and if you guys could also subscribe that would be awesome and yeah let's jump into the first game here and yeah let's do the first game live just so we get a feel for it really really fun game mode i love it every time it comes out and i always normally get 12 wins okay so going into our first game here between arrows or fireball i'm gonna pick fireball just because i feel like that was more versatile then we'll go pick zap we're then gonna pick this is gonna decide the game i can already tell i have to pick giant and then finally i need to pick snow golem see if i would have known that next choice i would have definitely picked balloon anyway my opponent gave me bats so we get to see the new card in action which is actually amazing go start off with a witch though at the back and yeah i don't know what lane this guy's going down there we go um ice spirit should take care of these along with tower help yep i tried to play my giant then didn't work anyway here he played a wizard so what i'm going to do is oh witch can just take out a skeleton army that's beautiful yeah there we go witch Go, witch, go. Oh, I'm actually doing so much damage to this tower. Let's go. Like, that's amazing. I'm happy with that. Ice Golem here now just to tank damage, pretty much. And then I'm going to use bats. First time using bats. Boom. They almost got destroyed instantly. But hey, I did put them up against a Dark Goblin, which has a fast rate of fire. So what did I expect? Really happy with that first push. We literally destroyed him. Here he played a Royal Giant at the back. I'm just going to play a Normal Giant at the back, followed up by a Witch. Because this Giant Witch combo is just deadly. I don't know what he's going to play next. Yeah, probably a wizard. Kind of saw that one coming. Oh, and a balloon. Okay, that was bad. I wish I would have known about that balloon like a second earlier. Here, I just need to use an ice spirit against it. My witch can take down the balloon along with tower help, but it's just more, yeah, making sure it didn't get the hits off. Anyway, giant took the tower. Bunch of skeletons going down the lane along with four bats. Yeah, I don't know. I've already used bats because of the night witch. Technically, the night witch spawns bats. And bats, I already have an opinion on them, and it's if you can get them like with a tank in front, oh, they're gonna go to town and do damage. But other than that, they're very squishy and can't really do a lot. Anyway, here we're go we're gonna win the game, obviously. We got two witches, along with that ice golem and a giant. Yeah, this is just a good game. There's nothing my opponent can do here. Five health left. Boom, there we go. So a very easy first win. And yeah, we're hoping to do that another 12 times. And hopefully along the way, get these one-time rewards. Okay, so we just three crowned a dude. And this is actually our third win, which means we're going to get our first one-time reward, which is gold. So not a lot of gold. I think it's only like, yeah, 2,500. But hey, gold's gold. I'll take it. And we're going to hopefully go on here to get more. Okay, so now we're halfway through this challenge. Six no, you guys can see we get 5,000 gold. Obviously, we're getting closer and closer to getting these bats actually unlocked. I'm just going to keep going here. How I'm drafting, I'm just drafting normal cards that I would normally pick that are powerful and yeah i'm not really focused on hey i need to use the new card now because you know after i unlock it i'll have it forever so why rush okay guys we're now seven and one i literally just got my first loss to a pekka deck for you guys that don't know pekka's like an instant win card in draft just because there's very few counters to it but yeah we're gonna hopefully unlock the bats in this game and yeah this should be really awesome hopefully we can do it i'm gonna pick backs here i don't know man that might have been a wrong choice i feel royal giant might have been the right choice i'm gonna give him hog freeze this is gonna be so annoying. I gave him Hog Freeze, but I got Bandit Battle Ram. This is gonna be an interesting game. I've been having Goblin Battle like a lot today. I don't know why. But hey, we're just gonna start off over there. Boom. He plays a Witch. That's fine. I'm just gonna Fireball the Witch and the Tower like that. And go. Boom. Now the Witch is one hit. That's awesome. He plays a Hog Rider. Don't freeze it. Don't be that guy who just instantly freezes it. I don't think he can. I don't think he has enough elixir. Mm, but that Hogwire did a bunch of damage. That witch is actually going ham still on the tower. I think we just lost the tower. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. Okay, we're just going to go with Bandit Battle Ram here. It's annoying because he has that tombstone. Tombstones get destroyed though just now. He literally played a defensive tombstone. Anyway, we've got two barbarians, the bandit, and obviously these bats. You're destroying a royal giant. Boom, there we go. Bandit now dashes to the tower with the bats. Yeah, that's a deadly combo. And that's the tower taken. He tried to freeze it. Didn't work at all. And my bandit's still going ham. 
that's awesome. Okay, so I just reset, placed down a furnace, you know, obviously just wanting to play a bit of defense now. He's going to probably rush me with a hog rider, I'm guessing. He just used up his, what's it called, a free spell, so I know he doesn't have that at the moment. He plays a lava hound. How many kill cards does this guy have? Okay, that's weird. I really wasn't expecting a lava hound, but okay. Here, mm, I was a bit late on this battle round placement. Oh, well. Oh, the witch actually retargeted. Wow, I got really lucky with that. Okay, I, you know, I'll take it. I'm not going to complain, but wow, that's lucky. Anyway, here, bandit, go. Bandit, go. There we go. The bandit dash, man, is so powerful, so strong. And yeah, since the bandit got buffed, it's just been such a pleasure to use that card now. It's honestly one of the better cards right now in the game. Anyway, here, bit of a weird push. He still has freeze. Don't freeze my tower. Yep, yeah, I knew you were doing that. Doesn't matter, though. We got this. Uh, bow ram in the middle. Go, go. Oh, I tried to defend the bats. There we go. Bats defended. I want to take out this princess next more than anything. There we go. Look at this bandit go, man. I love seeing her dash. Now she's going to get that witch. Go, bandit, go. And now the tower. What a savage. Oh, the bandit is like one of the funnest cards to use, but that's a good game. We've just unlocked bats which is amazing. That's like the main goal of today is to unlock bats. I'm feeling pretty confident we can still go on to get 12 wins. Obviously, 50 bats. Boom, there we go. Bats are now unlocked. We got 50 of them. And if we go over here, they're literally right there at the top. So yeah, that's awesome. They're right there. We're going to keep going. Hopefully get this giant chest and the 500 bats so we can level them up quite a bit. Boom, and just like that, we're at 10 and 1. We get this giant chest we're hoping for bats out of this giant chest. It can happen. Boom, we get some gold to begin with. Not a lot now. We get minion hordes, which is like the wrong bats. We get mortars. That's unfortunate. No, it just wasn't happening. That's really unfortunate how we didn't get bats. I was actually hoping for bats. Okay, and just like that, we are 11 and 1. I'm going to play this last game live, obviously. Hoping we get the W again. Here, go pick the balloon. That's just an early kill card, and I can base the rest of my deck around that. I gave him Barbarians. Choosing the Dark Knight is going to be a good counter. Here, go pick Fire Spirits. And finally, I have to pick that Musketeer. The Musketeer can take down my balloon easily, so it's just a smart choice to do that. And he gave me a Royal Giant. Wow, okay. This is going to be an interesting game. So he just started off with a Princess. Just goes play Stab Goblins to counter that. He then just logs it. I feel like this guy's just going to like, try and really fast cycle me. Like Princess Cycle or something weird like that. But hey, we're doing a bit of a rush here a rush yes that um he couldn't really stop it okay i'll take it boom poison those barbarians rg did so much damage to the tower rg is just one of them annoying cards i'm actually really surprised why he gave it to me but yeah you know i'll take it next up he plays a lava hound i bet he's really happy he didn't give me the lava hound and i'm really happy i didn't give him the balloon you know vice versa okay so here weird i need to play an ice golem to tank i then need to play a musketeer and that's just to take out this uh lava hound and then finally i guess like do this i don't really know man it's a weird one okay lava hounds taken out hopefully like these bats and lava pops don't do too much there we go fire spirits pretty much to clean up and then boom stab gobs take out that they're gonna get taken out by the tower that's fine we're still in the lead you know i'm happy with this so far obviously we know he has bob Barbarians, so this might be a bit awkward, but hey, we'll go try it. We managed to just line that up so well. Okay, so this, what's it, Makuda? Royal Giants actually go do like some damage, which is amazing. And the guards are going to come through first, so we're going to kill them. Okay, that's good. Now, the important thing here is just not to choke. Okay, here I'm going to play a poison spell. That's going to stop any troops incoming, and it's going to take out the troops there already, which is really good. Like the bats, there we go. Instantly they die. Don't know why he played them, but here we're going to go with a balloon. He doesn't know we have the balloon yet. So yeah, now's a good time to bring it out. The balloons go float towards the tower. He's spamming down a bunch of stuff to try and stop this balloon. Yeah, didn't really work. We took the tower. Here, Ice Golem Musketeer combo. Really strong defensive combo. I'm liking it. And 30 seconds left for the game. We pretty much, you know, 30 seconds should need to hold on. We can do this, I believe. Fire Spirits to help out another Musketeer. And this is looking like the 12th win. That's looking like good game. Battle ends in 10 seconds. I don't think he can do that much damage to my tower in 10 seconds. In case he can, though. I'm going to play a balloon down the opposite lane along with goblins just so, you know, it annoys him. There we go. That's, that's a good game. So yeah, 12 wins. Boom. Bats draft challenge is complete. We obviously unlocked the bats. We got the big prize as well of 500 bats. And yeah, for you guys looking for draft tips to you know do this yourself just play the game normally play it to your strengths you know pick the good cards that you see and you know look at your opponent's deck look at their counters and make sure you don't counter yourself anyway 500 bats right there boom that's awesome five epic cards 55 rares we're hoping for more bats we could get a legendary that's a lot of gold bats there we go hey i'm happy we got more bats 
archers, skeletons, that's whatever, barbarians. This is actually looking like a good chest so far. Give me some, like, rares. This is what I really need right now. Give me some rares. Oh, boys. Epics. No. That's disappointing. Oh, well. We got 12 wins. I can't complain. And yeah, obviously the new bat card here. I'm not going to touch it yet. I want to keep that new tag on it. But yeah, that's been the bat draft challenge. Obviously, all the rewards are now complete. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you guys leave a like. Of course, subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section how many wins you guys got. I'm always really interested to know that. Let me know where you guys ranked. Hopefully, everyone was able to unlock bats at eight wins. And yeah, hope you guys take care, brush your hair, and peace out.